Hey everyone, Thomas from Bricks here. In today's video, I want to show you our latest experimental feature, which is the global data sync. So we've got a bunch of different global data sets in Bricks. For example, you can create classes and CSS variables. We have theme styles, we have the color palettes, and all of those are great pieces of global data. But when you work on a site, a Bricks site as a team, you might end up unintentionally overriding each other's changes. So if multiple people work with classes and they modify them, if user one makes a change and saves it, at the same time, user two on a different machine makes a change. Now, all of the changes that user one performed are overwritten because they don't know about each other's changes, except you have a, everything is discussed up front, right? And communicated and agreed up on, so you don't make changes to the same kind of global data sets at the same time. But of course, that's not very efficient or not really doable in all kinds of cases, especially if you maybe work in different time zones or yeah, just not very convenient. So uh, the global data sync, what we are trying to do with it in Bricks 199, now I release it as an experimental feature. So it's a highly experimental feature. Definitely don't use it on any production website just for testing and providing feedback at that stage is to automatically uh, handle those kind of global data sync for you. If you're inside a builder, someone else made a change, um, you're going to be notified about those changes. If a conflict occurs, you will be presented with an option to accept or discard the change. All right. Um, instead of trying to uh, explain everything in words here, I'm set up a little demo site. And we're going to have a look at two users working on the same brick site and modifying the same pieces of data. In our case, the global classes, because that's the first global data set that we support with the new global data sync. And we're going to have a look how this works now. The first I quickly want to show you how it currently works or without this experimental feature enabled. So you can see the problem. So on the left hand side, we've got Thomas, and on the container, he has Bricks class one. And we're going to change our background color from this light gray, just made it darker, right? Now we save. All right jump to Karen here on the right hand side and she's going to perform change to the same class and she's not aware of Thomas changes you can see here she just continues editing her page if she reloads it of course the changes will be pulled in but while she's in the builder something happens in the database she doesn't know she doesn't see the changes because that's the data that has been loaded into the builder and if she now wants to change this to let's just say she wants to have it red or yellow. All right, now she saves her changes. Now this is what we have in the database because Karen was the last user on this site saving a change to the global classes. So that's what we have in the database. Now the change that Thomas made doesn't exist anymore because Karen overwrote the change. Um, so if Thomas would now reload the site, you will see now suddenly this is um, using Karen's changes, right? And everything that Thomas just did, in this case, it was just modifying one class. So it's not a big issue. But if this would be, if he imported like a hundred classes and modified individual properties, then um, yeah, a lot of work could have been lost here. So global data sync is going to uh, mitigate or prevent this issue by automatically pulling in all changes to the global classes. So if a class, new class was created, so I added a new class, um, I deleted an existing class, or I modified the class. Then, for example, I put it in a different category or change the setting. We're going to be informed. Everyone else who has to build open at that time is going to see a notification and can take action accordingly if necessary. All right, let me quickly show you by enabling the setting. So I go here to Brick Settings and then under Builder tab, I scroll all the way down. You can see here Global Data Sync, like I said, experimental feature. Let's enable it and let's see what difference this is going to make now. Um, just let me reload both. Windows. Um, so in my case, now I'm working on the same machine, but in two different windows, right? So there's an incognito window locked in with Karen, but this could also be uh, two users working yeah, on different machines, um, opposite sides of the world, right? All right, let's make a change again. Let's just say Thomas now makes a change and decides to revert this change back to this light gray. Let's hit save. And let's jump over to Karen. And whenever Karen now performs a save, she's going to be notified about any global class changes that have been 
wait in the meantime, right? So let's save here. And now you can see that my background color changed because that was the one that Thomas just updated here on the left. And I also see this notification here telling me who did what and when. So Thomas here modified one class 15 seconds ago. And I can have a look here. And I can see, okay, this class has been changed, which I can also confirm because I can see the change in here. So the change is automatically being pulled in for edit, deleted, and modified classes. There's only one conflict potentially is if both users would modify the same class at the same time. And that's what I'm also going to show you. All right, so this is one modified class here. Alrighty, understood. I'm going to just close this notification. And I'm going to show you the same thing for adding a class. So let's just say I go to Karen here. I'm going to create a test one, test two class. Alrighty. Now I have two new classes. Let's save it. Jump over to Thomas. Let's save the builder as well. And you will see this notification here from Karen. Five seconds ago, she added two classes. And this is test one and test two. All right, understood. Now let's try to delete a class. Of course, I can combine those actions as well. Um, and then I will see different notifications. So let's just say I want to delete those two. Let's delete it. Okay, let's save it. And let's go back to Karen. Let's save Karen's changes. And now Karen will be notified that Thomas deleted those two classes. Okay, understood. Now let's try modifying the same class. Karen now goes to two bricks class one again makes a change and she want to have it yellow. Now Thomas decides to edit the same class and he wants to make it red, right? Let's make a change and uh, let's make a save. And now I can see I have a conflict here because Karen 10 seconds ago modified the same class, Bricks 1 and um, Bricks Class 1. And I now need to decide how I want to proceed. Do I want to accept Karen's changes or do I want to discard them? And let's just say we accept Karen's changes. Of course, you can just communicate with your colleague here, trying to figure out yeah, what should happen here in case this does occur. In the unlikely case that both users modify the same class at the same time. I'm going to accept the changes. And I'm going to see the change that Karen performed with this class, which is changing the background color to this yellow color. And that's pretty much how it works now in this first experimental stage for the global data sync. Um, definitely let us know via email, via the forum. Rick's forum, how this feature is working for you. Like I said, it's a highly experimental feature at this stage. Um, definitely don't use it on the production side yet. And yeah, the end goal with this sort of global data sync, like I said, we have different pieces of global data. It's not just the classes, it's also the CSS variables, theme styles, color palettes, um, all those different kinds of global data. We are going to sync eventually, but yeah, just first need to get this experimental global data sync for classes sorted, and then we can proceed with the other pieces. All right. Thank you so much for watching and take care. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.